Today I'm going to the monastery of Saint Mina near Sofia. It's just a very short trip because the monastery is around 4 kilometers from the city. You can reach the place even with a city bus for I know more than 20 minutes, then you have 2 kilometers of walk and here you are in front of the small gate of the monastery decorated with icons of the Virgin Mary and Saint Mina, the patron of the monastery. Once you pass the gate, you enter in the large outer courtyard. There are places for the visitors to rest, where they can even have a small picnic, and for the children there are playgrounds with slides and swings. There are also several houses built, which I couldn't find out, whether they are only for pilgrims or they also accept tourists. Anyway, you can come alone or with friends for an afternoon and to escape for a while from the noise and the hustle of the city. But let's enter the inner courtyard. According to the historical sources, the monastery of Saint Mina has been built in late Roman times on the site of a former Roman fortress. In 11th century, on that place, there has been a big monasterial complex with 40 chapels, many buildings and a religious school, as well as women monastery, named in honor of Saint Mina. The legend says that he has been an Egyptian who served in the Roman army during the rule of emperors Diocletian and Maximilian and that Saint Mina has died as a martyr for the Christian faith because he had refused to bow to the pagan idols. In medieval times, the monastery has been part of a ring of monasteries around the city. I found recently that there are more than 60 monasteries around Sofia. Over the centuries, the monastery of Saint Mina was destroyed and rebuilt several times. It was damaged first by the Crusades then has been destroyed during the Ottoman invasion in the 14th century, but has been rebuilt in the 16th century. In the beginning of the 19th century, the monastery was again destroyed, this time by a fire. In the 1920s, archaeologists found buildings foundations on that spot, which revealed to be the remnants of the ancient monasterial complex. So in the beginning of the 1940s, the Monastery of St. Mina was rebuilt again in its today's look with the monasterial buildings, the church and a few other chapels. In one of those there is a spring whose waters are believed to have healing properties. As for any monastery, the most important place is the church. The church of St. Mina Monastery is not a big one but I would say cozy, although solemn. The most interesting part is the iconostasis, which, as in every Orthodox church, hides the altar. The doors and the curtain that are in the center of the iconostasis opens only during some parts of the religious rituals and the services held there. In the most cases, the iconostasis in the Orthodox churches is made of wood decorated with rich carvings and contains the most important icons. In the church of the monastery you can find also beautiful frescoes all over the ceiling and on the walls, depicting many saints and biblical events and stories.
Of course, one of the main icons is the one depicting the patron of the monastery, Saint Mina. And this one is believed to be miraculous. But it's time to leave the church, the inner yard and the monastery itself and to withdraw from the calm of this place to return to the city. If you ever travel to Sofia, do not miss to visit this peaceful place and enjoy its beauty. Thanks for watching.